everyone, my name is Jordan, and today I'll be walking you through this uh, vowel synth I've made uh, using Operator. It's actually not hard to make. Uh, a lot of it just involves drawing some harmonics and then mapping them. <clears throat> so, uh, listen to this example I've prepared. I hope you like it, and after the example, we'll get to it. So that's the synth we're going to be making. I just threw this together. Kind of sounds uh, tribal dubstep, but I'll show you some cool tricks probably later on in the series of how to double map with the EQ uh, and create a more realistic sounding uh, growls instead. So. Oh, that's right. Whoops, sorry. I've been spacing out a lot today. So, um, I'm just gonna create a new mid track. Arm it. We wanna drag our instrument rack to our mini track, then grab a operator, and make sure it's uh, that the whole uh, grid is open, like the macros, the operator chain, and the synth um, because you want to have everything uh, well it just makes things faster instead of opening and closing okay well on the first oscillator we want this to be first we're gonna change the algorithm change it the last one so that way when we play a note we get all the volumes and all the notes coming out instead of being frequency modulated. So they're all going out and they don't interchange uh, this sound to this sound to this oscillator. It's, they all, um, they're, they're each individual channel. So we're gonna start with our A. So we want really low harmonics. So I'm gonna maybe draw in for 16 1 2 3 4 5 five bars at the top and make sure when we play a note we want it kind of low so we want to change the repeat to get uh, more more self harmonics change this uh, to fixed so that way we can mess around with the frequencies kind of see how it sounds like an oh it's making whale noises this is gonna be uh, coming in uh, actually we'll map this right now so once in map mode, I'm gonna choose my uh, first oscillator, our A, click on the frequency box, and I'll map this to the first macro, and I'll call this, let's call this uh, A vowel level. Whoops, there. And we wanna change this not to be at 10 because that's gonna be way too low, I would say about 40, right, zero, zero, 40 hertz to 2000 kilohertz, that's fine. All right, now if we play a key and move this. That 
that sound pretty good. Uh, I don't think we really need to map the levels. I think that was an error. If I go back, yeah, don't need to map the level unless you're doing some crazy gating effect. But I'll show you that just in case. So for my oscillator B, on its own channel, we want the mids. So let me see how many bars. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so after five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Take out the low all the way. Let's do two, three, four, five. Let's, yeah, let's do five as well because then we'll expand into 32 for the C and D. I want to turn on uh, maybe one. That should do it. Let me turn off A so we can hear B. Turn it to fixed. Yeah, that sounded pretty good. So, uh, let's see. Okay, so now we'll map it. So for B, we'll click on the frequency box, turn it to macro two and map it. And we want it to be at 42 as, as well. So 40 is gonna be the standard for where our synths uh, start, except for the really highs. So there we go, unmap it. Now if we play a key. sound pretty cool so we're basically selecting the lows the mids the hot the mid highs and then the really highs to get that sort of real growl uh, for this synth it's it can be used as a growl for a dubstep but in electronic dance music what you can do is um, uh, render this audio out when you play a key So when you play a key, it'll be rendered out as that audio and you can loop and play chords with it. It's really cool stuff. Okay, so now for C, we're gonna switch this to 32. We're gonna take off the low and let me zoom in here so that way it makes counting a little bit easier. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So after this, one, two, three, four, five. This is gonna be our mid highs. Let me turn on fixed. And repeat. Let me see. Let's change it. Let's change it to four. So it's a little bit smoother. It's repeating over and over, but instead of um, short attacks, it's doing longer attacks. So now let's zoom out. Play this note. Okay. Now, oscillator C is a little bit different um, because we're selecting the mid high harmonics, and the highs can go real low, but the lows can't go any lower. Uh, otherwise, it'll sound kind of distorted and not realistic so I'm trying to go for a realistic sound and if you go ah you can go real real low like oh something like that so let's map it map frequency of C to macro 3 and call B uh, B vowel level We'll call C. Uh, to rename this, uh, you would do, if you're on a Mac, Command R, or if you're on a PC, that would be Control R to get into this renaming. So I'll change this to C, vowel, level. There we 
we go. Then I'll get out of this and mess around with the notes. I'll show you that trick in a minute of how to play multiple chords on uh, just the one synth note. Doesn't make sense right now, but I'll show you that in a minute. Now for the highest, uh, D. So I'll take off C so we can't hear it. And I'll play the note of D. Turn it on fixed. And now we're going to go to 16, take off the low. Go to 64. Now I have to zoom in to see this, so. One, two, three, four, okay. I'm just gonna go somewhere in here. I'm gonna map all of that. Let me take off one just in case. And I'll put repeat on four for the smoothest uh, waveform. Let me try one. Now let me try four. And let me put it on zero one. Yeah, for for D, uh, take it one multi lower so that way it doesn't go too high, but you can still reach the very top without really hurting your ears. So zoom out and I'll put it on map mode. We'll take the frequency of our fourth, which would be D to macro four. Now I'll rename this as D vowel level. Take out map mode. And if you have a MIDI controller handy, you can map this to uh, to the changing of the levels along with all the rest of your instruments. So now if I uh, play a note, you have like complete control over the the mids and highs. The reason why it doesn't sound super crazy is because of all these instruments. Let me just do one quick thing, drag them over. Now let's see if they're mapped. Yep, they're still mapped in my control. Okay, so now if I play a note with all my effects on here, So I was right, you don't want to map that to all your instruments, you want a different uh, knob to do that, so that way when you play a note, they don't get mixed up. So. So that's the instrument. I'm just tweaking these a little bit too much. Uh, oh, and it's because all the levels aren't all the way cranked up. That's why we're not hearing the rest. Whoopsie. Okay. It's only if you want to go real low. Okay, and let me 
change this. See? So it can come in handy when you're messing around with uh, macros. Uh, but this is actually the instrument. And I can save this uh, instrument on my desktop if you guys want me to upload this. Um, it's pretty handy. <laughs> and I actually have one thing that doesn't come with uh, Ableton Live. You have to actually buy it when you get the suite is the amp. The amp is a very crucial tool when making uh, heavier distorted sounds, but you can still tweak all the presence and the volume and how it should sound. It's pretty sweet and it comes with a cabinet as well. But I only use that on my organs for the really crunchy different dynamic sounds, but not for the synth. So, uh, I guess I'll show you uh, how to create this weird um, dual lifelike vowel filter. <laughs> this see so I'll show you that in the next video that will probably be tomorrow um, starting today I'm gonna be doing a video every day so even all through finals week because I feel like I should pay more attention to how I'm showing you things and I kind of want to be more involved with my channel and what you guys uh, want want uh, me to do a tutorial about like uh, any sound that you was like oh it's uh, this song that really heavy chord and then I'll listen to the song and I'll be like oh I know how to do that and I can show you guys from there but Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ba -da -ba -ba.